It is time to expand minds through movies, TV, sports, and flicks. It is time to boldly go where no podcast has gone before. It is time for the Captain Talks Flicks. The Captain, the Captain Talk, Talk Licks. 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 Welcome to the Captain Talks Licks Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, a.k.a. Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I walk in the podcast, podcast where me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything. You can see it on the 2 screen. I like to get on here and give my unique perspective, because after... 47 years of being on planet Earth, I have developed a unique perspective about this movie, TV, sports, and flicks, and like to hear tell about it. Because just maybe, just maybe you care. And according to the stats, it looks like you do care. I want to give a big shout out to Serbia. Got some plays over in Serbia this past week. Gracias, gratitude, todoraba. In Serbia, I heard you guys are the world's largest exporters of raspberries. Yeah, I just found that out. It is so cool that you guys have the most raspberries. That is awesome. Raspberries are fantastic. I love having raspberries in my smoothies. They're so good. So yeah, very cool that you guys got a lot of raspberries. Awesome to hear that. And thanks for listening. Appreciate it. And just FYI, back in the day with School Bay Radio DJ, but never got a job. I think I never got a job because I just didn't have the desire. If I would have had the desire, maybe that would enable me to become a radio DJ, but I didn't, and it allowed me to become the greatest podcast in the Matrix. Something to debate, might be true, might not be true, but I said it on the internet, so it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts, not facts, true, false, propaganda, fake news, the Matrix, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, bananas, carrots, cucumbers. I don't know. I didn't make the internet. Ask the people that made the internet. So when you're online, just be worried, just watch out. Anyways, I could ramble you all day, but I won't. Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes I rap. And one of the times I rapped, I dropped the album called Mental Teleportation. And on this album, you will find my unique rhyme style over spacey ambient type beats. And I guarantee you, you have never heard a rap style like this in your life. When you hear this, you'll be like, you're right, Captain. I've never heard it. This is absolutely awesome. You probably think that. So if you want to hear some music, some rap that you've never heard before in your life, I will put a link below to my Bandcamp page, and you can hear the album Mental Teleportation by yours truly, Captain Che Cortez. So check out the link now. Let's get on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen. I am back again. Yes, it is a lovely day again. It's sunny outside. It's nice. I got to sleep this time. I slept for like nine hours. I told you last episode I only got four and a half or four hours, something like that. Well, this time I got like nine. It all balances out in the universe. Everything just balances out. I was low sleep and I got a lot of sleep and I feel magnificent. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm preparing to make some slow cooker. Bake Zitty, yo my rhyme slick Zitty, face me real TV, strawberry kiwi. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to make some Zitty, I cannot wait, it's gonna be so good. Yeah, Zitty is so good. So I'm about to make Zitty, life is good, and now it is time to podcast. And ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, this is probably gonna be the last time that I tell you lies that are true. Unfortunately, one of my favorite spy shows on the TV right now is called a quiz. It's over, they got canceled. And I'm talking about the show called true lies yes true lies is over baby it's a wrap i just saw the last episode called waking dreams and let me tell you this the episode was absolutely phenomenal after i saw the episode i'm like bro they canceled they can't cancel it now it's getting so good but unfortunately it's a wrap unless somebody saves it if anybody out there has power sway and money connections and you have the ability to save the show please save the show because i think the show is so dope so i'm going to get into true lies waking dreams but first, a couple things. There won't be spoilers. And I do own some shares in the parent company of Paramount Plus. I just want to be clear and transparent to let you know. So now that I told you that, let's get into True Lives, Waking Dreams. And ladies and gentlemen, 
Last episode of True Lies, Harry Tasker got captured. It's like, dang, bro, he got captured. All the episodes so far, he never got caught, never got stopped, but he got caught by some shady agents. They caught him. They got him. Now, this episode, we find Harry Tasker captured. Yeah, they captured him, right? He's captured. He's sitting on a chair and some chair strapped in. And there's just some like evil lady, you know, talking to him. And they then they drug him with drugs. He's like, I'll never talk. I'm not going to talk. So I don't want you to talk. I want you to feel pain. Right? I was like, wow. I was like, why were they starting off strong, bro? Harry Tass is getting drugged and getting pain. Like, man, this is tough. And in the episode, they go on to try to brainwash his mind, bro. They hit him with drugs and suggestion to try to sway his mind, right? Just sit in the chair, drugged up, and lots of suggestions sway his mind, right? That's what happens. It just it goes on for a while. Through the whole episode, that's what they're doing. To reprogram Harry, Harold, right? And when I saw this, it made me think about the real world. Because you know how I watch these shows and I make connections to the real world. Like, yo, I see this on the TV and it reminds me of this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what that reminded me of. When I see Harold Harry Tasker in the chair on drugs and getting suggestions to him, I thought of this immediately. As we walk our everyday life, do what we do. Living, walking, talking, seeing family, going to work, doing what we normally do. We are getting bombarded with suggestions. I know this has been a running theme of these podcasts for quite some time, probably the last six months, but it just keeps coming back. It just keeps flowing back. It seems like all roads point to this. It just, this is the age and era we live in. As we navigate life, like Harry Tasker in that chair, we are getting bombarded with tons of suggestion. Your friends, your family, the internet, TV, radio, it's all coming right at you. All these words and suggestions coming at you to suggest, to buy this, do this, think this, go there, join this, right? It's coming at you massively. And also, in this time period, 2023, it's way more than I had experienced as a young person. When I was young, it was happening, but not on this level. We're talking Harry Tasker in a chair levels, what's going on right now? Right? That's what I thought. Harry Tass are getting bombarded with suggestions. This is very similar to what we're getting hit with every day with this media in our pocket. Right? The media is in your pocket. You have a phone in your pocket. It's hitting you with messages all day. Images, music, messages, all type coming right at you. Pull out your pocket. It's right there. All the time. When I was young, we did not have that. When I was young and I would go in the car, go here, go there, go to my job, I wasn't getting hit with that. I didn't have it on me all the time. But now in 2023, me, you included, everybody else that has a phone is constantly getting hit with these messages, kind of like Harry Task in the chair. And after tons and tons and tons of that message coming at you, it may shift your mind a bit. It might do that. But in the episode of True Lies, Waking Dreams, Harry Tasker after experiencing the immense amount of suggestion, he was able to break through the suggestion and not do the shady things because of the power of the connection with his wife, right? The bond between him and his wife was so powerful to pull him through through all that suggestion. So ladies and gentlemen, as you navigate your life and you're getting bombarded with all these suggestions, in order for you to stay on track and stay focused to what you need to do, whatever that may be, it's gonna look different for all of us. Who is your Helen Tasker? Who is your wife? It doesn't necessarily have to be a wife, but who is your anchor to the reality, to your focus, to your dream, to stay on task? We all need to have that. Whether it's a, a subject, an image, a person, something, a group, something that keeps you on task. Because otherwise, we'll be like Harry Tasker in that chair, falling prey to the suggestions that are bombarding us. Right? Harry Tasker had his wife. Who do you got? And if you don't, find something. Because as... We continue to go down the timeline. There's not going to be less of it. There's going to be more. AI just entered the picture last October or November, right? And that's going to complicate the space even more. It's just going to get more and more images, suggestions coming at you. Now, I'm not calling it negative. It's just a state of reality. Now, the key to moving forward is staying on task and staying focused and cutting through all the unnecessary BS because there's a lot of it on there. Now, whatever you're trying to do and to accomplish, whatever it is, it's going to be different for you than it is for me. But whatever you're trying to do to stay on task, you got to cut through all the suggestion. 
right? So find your Helen Tasker to keep you on track. And if you find yourself slipping like Harry Tasker did a little bit because the suggestions were too much, you need that Helen to pull you back out, pull you on task, pull you to where you need to go. Yes, so ladies and gentlemen, if we can learn anything from this week's episode and series finale of True Lies is to stay focused, stay on task. With all the noise and suggestive, all the ideas flowing around us constantly, 24-7 all the time to stay focused and on task, and if we fall back and dip and get lost in all the noise, to be pulled back out by our Helen Tasker. Yes, so find you Helen Tasker, stay on task and keep moving forward on your task. True Lies is an absolutely magnificent show. I was enjoying it so much, and these last two episodes just got that much better. It's unfortunate that it's getting so good, they pulling the plug. I'm sitting here thinking, man, maybe somebody will save this show. Because it's really, I really like it. Now, the thing is that the spy genre is not a very mainstream genre. So really only spy nerds like me are diehards for this kind of show, right? If you ain't deep into the espionage spy genre, you might not really dig this. Or it might not be your cup of tea. But if you're like me who loves all spy stuff, you're all about it. I watch any spy show that comes on, and I hope they stay on TV for a long time, whatever it is. Comedy, serious, drama, British, American, Israeli, I don't care. Spy stuff is my thing. I love watching it's all I watch for the most part. It is unfortunate it's over. But I will say this, their ride was good. There's a lot of lessons learned, a lot of ideas talked about from the show. And maybe if we're lucky, it'll survive. Because it's coming up. There's a strike, there's a writer's strike. There's all types of things going on in Hollywood. Maybe somehow the, the, the movie universe, the show universe will somehow work it out there. Hey, you know, we ain't got a lot of programming. We're going to use this show. Yeah, because we're kind of lacking in programming. They, they're ready to go. Maybe, I don't know how it works. I'm not, I'm not a privy to all that kind of information. But maybe, just maybe, we have not seen the last of the Taskers because they got really interesting. But if it is the last time we've seen them, it was a good ride, enjoyable. And if you've not seen True Lies, I highly recommend go over the Paramount Plus app because that's where it's currently at. And check it out, because you will enjoy it, especially if you like spy stuff. If you like spy stuff, I have a strong feeling you'll enjoy it, right? If you're a hardcore spy nerd like me, you most likely will enjoy it. Probably? I think so. So anyways, thanks for the great ride, True Lies writers, cast, producers, everybody involved in True Lies. I appreciate the 45 minutes, 50 minutes of enjoyment I got every week. A nice break from my mundane reality sometimes. A nice break from all the work I had to do and all the chores I had to do and all the drama and emotions just to take a break and learn some lessons from this excellent spy show. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. And hope we haven't seen the last of it. But if so, much appreciated. So yeah, this concludes the podcast. Thank you very much, True Lies. And we'll be back again next week with some new stuff. So until next time, we'll see you. A hero is no braver than an ordinary man, but he is braver five minutes longer. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Until next time, it's Captain Peace. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Lit.